So how to convince your family to be vegan? <laughs> when you know, let me know. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I've done it all. I'll, I'll cook for them and made food for them and been across the country for them and talked with their doctors with them and, you know, you just got to accept people's choices, you know, just my family accepts mine, I accept theirs. So, you, Sure, if you had know, success, good on you. I applaud you. Um, it comes down to a personal choice, how much time we're willing to commit to helping those who do not want to be helped. If people want to be helped, and they know you personally, they'll ask you. So, you know, I don't go on about it with my personal friends, because they know what I'm, I'm up for, and, you know, I'm always helpful to people who want it. So when it comes to your family and friends, just walk your talk. Talk it a bit. But it's more with your daily actions. If people live with you, working with you, it's your daily actions. And sure, if you meet someone on the street, talk to them, tell them, because they can't really see what's going on. They see you eating a tofu burger or banana, they wouldn't have a clue what's going on. But if you tell them something, yeah, great. Because you might only meet that person for 10 seconds in your life, and you only got 10 seconds to make an impact. So you, sometimes, you know, your actions don't speak that loudly because people can't hear what you're saying. But if you say something, then yeah, for sure. Does that make sense? If you live with someone, spend a lot of time with someone, let you walk in, do the talking. And if you're only with someone for a short time, let you talk and do the talking. Does that make sense? You know, it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. But give, the, give, give them information, burn up a DVD, give them a website and say, hey, if you're serious, check this out. If not, don't waste my time. Because there's a big difference between people being interested and people being committed. You know? So many time wasters out there. So many time wasters out there They're looking for excuses why they can't do something versus reasons why they can. So, okay, give people information, let them do what they want, move on. Simple as that. You can spend the rest of your life dealing with losers who are never going to be anything because they've got this story about why they can't do something. So, you prepared to do that? That's a personal choice, a personal question you've got to ask yourself. Am I going to commit my life to dealing with losers? Do you want to take responsibility for their health and actions? Or am I going to dedicate my life to helping people who want to be helped? Who people dedicated to helping people who want to help themselves? I know what's more fun and I know what I'm into. But yeah, you know, so just don't think that you don't expect your family and friends to automatically go, oh shit! I mean, thanks for telling us about the China study. Thanks for telling us about fruits and vegetables. Thanks for telling us about riding your bike to work. Thanks for telling us about health and fitness. Holy shit, I didn't know. You know, I'm going to change overnight. <laughs> it doesn't happen that way. So does that mean we should become skeptical and closed and never help anyone? No way. Like I said, you know, wear t-shirts, hand information. People who want it, they'll ask you more. Set up a website like we've done. It's become number one raw foods website on the planet. Because people want the truth, they come to our site. No bullshit there. You know, just have picnics or potlucks or set up a social group or whatever. And uh, you'll be able to socialise with a lot more people. It's just like cycling. It's like, you know, you hang out with cyclists. If you want to be a good cyclist, you want to learn about health and fitness, hang out with health and fit, healthy and fit people. It's straightforward. So how do you convert your family? You know, make sure they've got lots of high quality, high carbohydrate, vegan foods around. You know, understand that not everyone wants to be a fruit bat like us. That's cool. You know, I still cook, cook, uh, cook for my family and stuff like that. They enjoy it, but again, it's just this hard, ingrained belief that carbohydrates will make them fat. Even though the chef who's making it for them is six foot and 65 kilos, you know, it's, it's hard for people to break part of that conditioning. But, you know, I like to believe that sooner or later the weight of the truth begins to smash apart the programming, begins to break apart the programming, and people go, oh, hang on, that's actually true, that you, you know. But hey, so don't get burned out, don't get beat up because you failed. Because there's plenty of other people who want your help. Even if they're not blood related, they're still on the planet. They still make a difference. They're still worth giving your time and energy. If they want it, they want to help themselves, give them a hand up. Otherwise, uh, you know, forget wasting time on people who don't want it. It's not good for you. It's not good for them. Does that make sense? I hope it does. If not, watch this video again. Thanks for watching. See ya.